This is my review of the Echowick WH2320E weather station. As you can tell, this is a compact weather station. It comes complete with the exception of batteries and also a mounting pole. It is a 7-in-1 sensor, which I do like. I received mine from Amazon very quickly and it was packed in its normal conscientious way from Amazon. And as you can tell this is pretty much already assembled. It only took me maybe two minutes to put on the existing parts minus the mounting pole to get things up and running. The thing that I really like about this weather station is that it comes with a very thorough and illustrated manual. It is also downloadable as a PDF. I did install the recommended lithium batteries even though this is a solar powered unit for outside. I'm expecting two to three years use out of these batteries. However, if I do need to access the batteries they are very easy to replace. Like so many other units that are wireless, you do create your own wireless network in order to set up the weather station. This is done via the downloaded app for your phone. The manual does a very good job in explaining this in step-by-step -step method. And this is how your weather station will look on your phone after you get it done set up. You can also upgrade your firmware and this is where you also monitor it. And this is the weather station in operation. I live in rural Ohio in farm field country and as you can tell there's really no trees and I receive a lot of wind. This happened to be a very calm day and as you can tell it's picking up just the very slightest breeze which is nice to notice. And as I mentioned this is a compact unit which I am appreciative of and the other thing I really like since I deal with some very strong wind where I live is the very large mounting pole. One thing you do need to be careful when setting up in order to accurately measure the rain you have to make sure it is level. They have a bubble on top. I installed mine on a farm fence so it's not pretty the way it looks. This is the bubble that I had mentioned. I did use a ladder to access it and in order to level it with my old farm fence this is how it looked and the final product. It has withstood a tornado warning. This is the console. This is pretty much the entry level unit for this type of weather station. Quite frankly, I really don't use the console that much for monitoring. The thing I do like about this unit is, is the console is wireless. There's no USB outlet. There's no cable to plug into your computer uh, that's required for monitoring. Everything is done wirelessly between wireless to the weather station and then wireless with your home wireless network only on the 2.4 gigahertz not the 5 and then it uploads the information to Weather Underground or Weather Cloud via your iOS or Android app. Um, it is able to dim or turn off the console. Right now I just leave the console off because I really don't use it. I probably will move it to my home office after this review and uh, I'd probably use the console a little bit more. It does give you a monitor for the strength of the, the wireless and also the strength to the weather station. I live in an old brick farmhouse and I get great reception to the weather station. This is what I really like about this weather station is it's monitoring. This is the Weather Underground app for the iPad Wonder Station. This is what it looks like on the downloaded app from the manufacturer. Really great information, super clear and concise. And if you've never had a weather station on Weather Underground, this is what it looks like on their website. And you just basically upload all the weather station information and they save all this data for you. It's really a great way to monitor and keep track of your weather station. As you can tell it's very thorough. Being a 7-in-1 weather station it doesn't only monitor the temperature and the humidity and the rain but also it does have the UV index which is handy. 
For myself, I really like to monitor the, the rain in the summer. I have a lot of landscaping, gardens, etc. And it's great to sit there and see how much rain to see if I need to use my irrigation system. The fact that uh, weather underground, and later I'll show you the weather cloud, they do save all this information for you, for you and um, it's great. Uh, the station does upload quite quickly. Now this is the weather cloud. I really like weather clouds layout. It's very clear, concise, and simple. And if they ever come out with the Primus iOS app, I will be all over it. This is really a great application. And just like the uh, Weather Underground, they also store your data for you. For the base uh, weather station for the weather cloud, it's free. You can pay to have some more information, but really, unless you're a professional, you probably don't need to do this. But this is really clear. It gives your information what you want right there. And for me, being concerned about the wind, uh, right now it's not a windy day, but boy, on those windy days here, um, I really like to be able to see what's going on with the wind, especially if I'm not home and need to worry about any storm damage. As I mentioned, I had a tornado warning not too long ago. And just like on a Weather Underground, this does keep track of your information and you're able to sit there and even download your information if you'd ever want to. Uh, it's great. I love Weather Cloud. I love Weather Underground. On this weather station, you can also report to WOW, which I do not do that. I just use Weather Cloud and Weather Underground mainly because of the uh, applications and the way they store. I don't think it can get much better than this, quite frankly. So here's this weather station. I really like this weather station. It's extremely um, accurate. I've had other weather stations, and in these super hot days, it has done a great job. It's withheld really horrible weather and has been very accurate both in the rain and temperature and the wind. I found it to be an excellent weather station.